I'm gonna be honest, this might be too big of a headline, but I'm not sure I've seen this type of debutant under my two years in, in this team. I mean, think about it, it's nil-nil against Czech Republic, it's a World Cup year, she hasn't played a minute, she goes in in half time to a team that struggled in the first half, and she looks like she's done nothing but playing with us. For me, that's massive. Hi, I'm Claire Hunt, and I'm Matilda's cap 224. It was incredible. I think I had worked so hard to get to that moment, so I didn't necessarily feel nervous or pressured in doing anything because I knew that I had worked so hard to get there. I had a little inkling that I would potentially get a debut, but also didn't put any expectation on that either. And then at halftime, the decision was made that I would go on at centre back. So I felt, you know, calmness and confidence knowing that, hey, I've done this. And I also had a 45 minute preview of what my competition was. So I, I think having that calmness and confidence came from being able to see what I needed to do and just execute that when I went out there. So going on, it was, it was really amazing and, and something that I'll hold close to my heart for a really, really long time. I've had a long run of injuries. So in 2018, I did my ACL. Between 2019 and 2021, I had issues with my opposite knee, which required some screws being put in, and there were some complications with that, so that took a while to rehab. I had a shoulder reconstruction, broke my ankle mid last year. So going through those injuries helped me mature a lot, helped me understand my teammates a lot better and gave me an opportunity to be someone for my team when I wasn't playing. So now that I have those qualities while I am playing, I feel like I support players better. I can support myself better in terms of my physical, mental preparation for matches and training. I never felt like I had a decent enough time in the game or enough opportunity to feel like I could prove what I could do with my football career. So. For me, that was always the reason why I continued to rehab because I felt like I hadn't been given a chance yet. So to have this A-League women's season and actually be given consistent minutes and, and not have to battle through injury, it's given me an opportunity to show the qualities I possess in football. And I think for me to then be presented with opportunities to play for the national team, it's been really, really special and something I've honestly worked hard for for five to six years through those injury battles. And I had no expectations going into camp. I think for me it was just, I wanted to give myself the best opportunity at training and do the best I could at training just to prove my quality there and, and see how I matched up against the girls in camp. It's a big step up from anything I'm used to, but it was also a wonderful environment to be in, be surrounded by such quality, be welcomed into the environment. As soon as I stepped on the pitch, I had the full support of the 10 other girls on the park and all the wonderful support staff and, and the, the game changers on the bench. So for me, I felt wholeheartedly supported in that situation. So I think that made me feel calm and confident as well. Having the comfort of, you know, playing young Matildas with a lot of the girls or being in training environments with some of the older girls, it gave me a little platform to say, hey, I've, I've trained and played, you know, at this level with these girls and, you know, I'm good enough to be here. So yeah, 